Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Tom here, uh, T and BH Gaming. Uh, today we're in Railroads Online. Um, we're going to start a new series, guys. Um, I've got a surprise. Um, it's a new map. Uh, same, actually, same map. Um, the uh, industries have been moved around. Um, the map's called, as you can see, Lunar Luna Ridge Logging Company by S S uh, S T E R. Um, I'll if you if you want to get a hold of this map, uh, I'll leave a uh, I'll leave a I'll leave a link down in the description to to this guy's channel. Um, he tells you how to go and get it downloaded and 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 how to install it and all that stuff. It's a it's it's an interesting uh interesting setup to where he's got the industries. Um it makes it one, it makes it a little harder to uh <laughs> to uh actually get to get the industries. I mean you're not you know you're not you're not right there where you know you're just taking like you go taking like when you get to the end uh, you know, you, you're right there at the refinery and you just take it around through there and drop it off at the at the uh, freight depot. Well, in this one, you have to go a little bit further to get the oil barrels from the refinery to the freight depot. So it makes it a little bit more interesting. Um, I've, I've looked at it. I've played with it a little bit. Uh, he does give you uh, a little bit more to start off with than just a Betsy and one flat car uh, because it it is kind of you know a little bit more challenging uh, but uh, it's interesting um, you're gonna have to go back and forth between the the, uh, the logging company and the uh, sawmill quite a few times to uh, to get up enough money to uh, to buy another engine or you know and but you have and He's already has track built, um, I believe. There's track built from the logging company to the sawmill. And I believe all the way down around, um, if I can, let me, I'll bring up my other screen here, guys, and I, th I think I can explain it better if I show you um, he has, uh, along with the download, is a uh, um, a map. Uh, so uh, I'll uh, I'll see if I can bring that map up for you and, and give you a good look at it. I'm gonna go ahead and and uh, start this game because it takes a little while to start up. So we'll start this game, but I'll go ahead and. Uh, as soon as this other one loads up over here. <clears throat> um, as soon as this map loads up on my other screen, we'll uh, I'll, I'll give you a display of the other screen over here. And, and you can see uh, what it's going to look like. Um, it's interesting. Um, you can see the industries are completely moved around. Um, So, all right, here it's up now. So here's his map. So um, you still start right here at Spawn, but there's no freight depot. The freight depot is now down here in between where the uh, ironworks and the refinery used to be. So this is the freight depot. Um, there's track built from spawn all the way around up the side of this mountain um, to where the coal mine used to be, um, I think is where the logging camp is. And then the sawmill is just, you, you go around, you go down, and it's just below it down here. But it's still a pretty good run from the log camp to the sawmill. Um, 
a little bit further than it used to be, but it's still a, a, a good run. And then over here, um, just past the sawmill, or I think it's on the same level. It's just on the same level as, yeah, it's on the same level as the sawmill. You go just past it, and there's your refinery right here. Um, I don't know if you guys can see my mouse. Let's see if I, I don't know if I can, yeah, bring, yeah, Let's see if I can, yeah, let's do that. So see, here's the refinery right here, uh, and then the sawmill logging camp, and then you have to build track. You're going to have to build track to the smelter, which is next in line, because you're going to have to take um, cordwood, of course, from the log camp to the smelter. Well, the smelter is right here. So... And the oil field is where the smelter used to be in that valley where the smelter used to be so um, you can come off of this track to the smelter or you can maybe if you want to try come off of here and run down here to the smelter um, I would probably depending on how these mountains are right here I'm not sure there's looks like there might be a little gap in between here Try to come off of here or here may even maybe and because there's a little uh he has a little uh there's a little off cut right here or a spur and come off of here and come through here and go to the smelter and break off and go to the coal mine also at the same time that's probably what i'll do i'll have to look at it and see what that what that terrain's like but you also have to build track to the iron mine, of course. Um, and so uh, I don't know if we can come off of here and go right down here to the iron mine. Or if that's too much of a drop. Or maybe have to come off of here. And go through here to the iron mine. That looks like it's on the same level almost. Uh, this looks like it's a pretty good ridge that you might have to drop down. Or come down here and then come off through here to the iron works um i said iron mine the iron mine is over here on the other side of the oil field in that same valley where the smelter used to be so right up in here on that ridge right there it looks like is so you'll have to come off of this line right here into the iron mine i would think but it just makes it so you have to carry your zoom back out here you have to carry your carry your product further um you know instead of just you know going and getting everything and bringing it here you know and then bringing everything here and then you know it just it's it just more interesting i think it's a lot more interesting so but we're going to start a series on this uh and uh so if uh if you guys like this series uh you know give me a thumbs up like, subscribe, share, leave me a comment, let me know uh, what you think of this map. And like I said, I will leave a description, uh, or I'll leave a link in the description below um, so you guys can uh, go watch the video where this guy talks about this map. And I, I like it so far from what I mean. All I've done really is I had started a game and I just ran like six or eight loads of logs to the sawmill just to make and and uh, I can't remember how many I actually ran but I only ended up with thirty six hundred dollars or something like that so far in the game I had started um, but I abandoned it so I could start this game with you guys so we can have a fresh start at the series so but uh yeah it's um it's pretty interesting uh pretty interesting map and you'll have to go quite a few trips back and forth between the log camp and the sawmill in order to get enough money to buy another engine um and then of course you'll have to the first thing i guess would be to build track to the smelter so you can start running uh cordwood to the smelter and then, of course, track from there, connect here somewhere maybe, 
and get to the iron mine just run a spur off of here to the iron mine and uh, see you can bring it back to a smelter and then you can get your rails and your iron of course and rails need to go to uh, the coal mine and uh, raw iron needs to go to the iron works and of course you got to get the pipe at the ironworks to go to the oil field and the refinery so yeah it's 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 interesting that you that you're going to have to run back and forth across the map instead of just from one industry to the other and i'm going to take stuff from here and drop it off at this industry you actually have to go completely across the map with this stuff and it, it's just going to make it a little bit more interesting uh, let's jump back over to our so this is where you start at spawn and like you see as you can see there's no freight depot no betsy no nothing and you got your three tracks here where you get your where you get your uh where all your engines and your cars and stuff spawn at and then there's just a run around track it just runs all the way around and comes back around here but you do have a telegraph office already set here and if you bring up the game map uh, you can see you have a telegraph office here and then he has one here. I believe this is just a spur Let's go check it out. I believe it's just a spur Ooh. Yeah, this is just a spur uh, Actually, I believe this is where they switch track. Yeah, this is uh, this is actually the track here that goes down to the sawmill and this is the track that goes on around um that takes you down the hill uh towards the uh well let's see if we can get over here to our other map um bring our other map back up here come on so that track takes you around That's the that's the little spur right here that I was talking about. So you go down here to the sawmill, and this one takes takes you on around. And I guess you could go towards the coal mine or the smelter, or take it on around down to the ironworks. You know, go on around like this and take it on down to the ironworks. Um, I, I haven't really decided what I was going to do yet, but um, yeah, this is just a little cut off spur. Um. Like I said, I guess you could take on a round. Um, I'm gonna have to do some uh, some uh, investigation or uh, sightseeing to see. But as you can see down there, that building down there through the trees, get up on there. That is the uh, sawmill, and if you go up this way, it takes you to the uh, log camp. So we'll go up here. This is the sawmill and this top one and this one where it says coal mine used to be the coal mine like i said is the uh is the uh log camp and of course right here where the ironworks are is now the freight depot and over here where the smelter is is now the oil field and then right over here in this little on this little ridge here is where you're going to have your iron mine and i think this is where the smelter is up in here And I believe the coal mine is right in here, right on this ridge here, or up in here somewhere, where the iron mine used to be over here, the coal mine's over here, and then your iron works is right in here somewhere. And then of course you got your uh, sawmill and your, uh, and then your refinery is right here on this plateau. So yeah, it's a, it's an interesting map. Um, to say the least so let's go ahead and uh, teleport here to the uh, to the sawmill or, or to the lumber camp and as you can see you start out with a shea instead of a uh, old Betsy you start he starts yeah start you start 
I can't even speak this morning, guys. He starts there out with a shay. And uh, you're starting out with two cordwood cars. And uh, if you go down the track here, um, that's the cordwood line over there. And this is the lumber log line right here. And you actually start out with, uh, I think it's six, one, two, three, four, five, yep, yeah, six, uh, six flat cars for logs, so you can run logs. And uh, I'll tell you guys what, what I did in that, when I first initially started this, to just get a look at this game. Um, I just started running logs to the sawmill back and forth back and forth back and forth um so uh that's what we'll do let's get uh let's get the shade fired up here and uh, the only thing i the only problem which is not really a problem i guess but the only uh the only thing that i had a concerned about I wish I could change um, and I know um, there is some third party uh, stuff that you can use um, to uh, to change it um, but he's got Lunar Ridge Law Company and Annabelle but I, I may leave it because it's this is for the law company back and forth um, so I may leave that but I also want to the first when I when I started this game earlier guys on on another save I uh, I just started out and I took this and I hooked to the cars and I loaded them up and I backed down the back down the mountain to the sawmill and then push the car empties back up but uh and i did that two or three times and then i decided to uh to do this here i'm gonna re-rail the shea right here yep let me turn it around that's what i want to do i want to turn her around So we are coming out the right way there. And that one's turned the right way. And this one is not. So something else I did learn, guys, I'll tell you right now. This spur for the log is not long enough, as you can see, to fit all these cars in here to be able to get logs on them. So you have to do four. And then three. Um, I don't even think if you made this any longer. I don't. I'm not sure if you made it longer. If it would help or not. I mean. We're all the way back here. Right. <clears throat> so you're going to get what. Maybe another car. So. One. Two. <clears throat> Um, half a car so you're gonna get another half a car here so you couldn't get all you still couldn't get all six cars in there I don't think even if you made that a little further so what I was doing guys was I was loading four and then come in grabbing the other two and then loading them and I know it's a pain but it is what it is uh-huh um, everybody loves the shunt right So we'll put a link in that one and then we're going to go get our shea and we're going to back up here and load up and head down to the uh, sawmill and I'll give you guys a little tour down the mountain to the sawmill. Um, it's pretty nifty. Um, the way that he has the line set up to go to the sawmill 
So let's get this up here. Let's back out a little bit. There we go. And uh, I think we got enough. Yeah, we're good enough there. So let's put our reverse and reverse, break off, and you don't really have to give it much. You can start out with, I always start her out, get her going real good. Drop her down to about 3%, we left her at 2 We'll back her up here and uh, get her off. Got my whistle, pretty good blast. So she's moving pretty good, so we're gonna give her some. Shut off the regulator and give her a little break. Let her kind of coast back. And I've already unlinked it back there. So the last two cars won't won't be uh kadunk. So the last we can't uh we won't be taking the last two cars so we'll just take four cars to start with and let's get our reverser and forward brake is still off give her some juice and we have to i forget um these cars are I believe the brakes are on, so I'm gonna go over here to my extended railroads online extended and unlock the brakes on these cars because I believe they're all locked. They're all hundred yep, they're all hundred percent. So let me unlock at least the first four. And then we'll we'll get it rolling. But yeah, this is this is an interesting map, guys. I I I, you know, I really think you guys will like it. Um, <clears throat> like I said, let me uh, I'll give you a little tour of the uh, down to the sawmill. And uh, yeah, we're moving now. And uh, we'll run some logs and. Uh, then once we get enough money to get another engine, I'll buy another engine and uh, we'll get a tour from spawn all the way up the mountain to the logging camp here where we'll have to uh, and break. And let's go over here and. Oh, that's right, I got it locked. So let's go over here and flip our switch. And get our reverse and reverse so we can back up there and get some logs. Break off. So we'll get her backed up here and we'll get some logs loaded on here. And guys, if you don't if you guys don't know what Railroads Online Extended is, this is Railroads Online Extended. Um, you can see all these little things here are switches, and all you gotta do is click on it and you can flip the switch. Let me get my break over here. Let me make sure we get stopped in time. I get over to look at that railroad on I was extended and I won't pay attention to what we're doing. So let's give her a little break. Slow her down just a hair. And stop. So one of the good things guys about railroad lines extended. 
um, if you haven't seen my channel before and don't know anything about Railroad Lines Extended, um, it's a third party, a third party program that you can use with Railroad Online. And like I said, you can flip these switches. See if I click on that, it's going to flip that switch. So it's going down that side of that track, which is nifty. I mean, a lot of people call it cheating. It, it, if you're single player, it's lifesaver, guys. Um, because it's really a pain to get out and flip every switch you have to come to. Um, multiplayer, I probably wouldn't use it um, because we have, you know, you have a brakeman or, uh, you know, somebody who's who's playing with you who can get out and flip switches ahead of time and and un uncouple cars and stuff like that and and load um, get out and load. Uh, load cars for you um, uh, another thing um, if you guys haven't seen go back and look at my uh, go back and look at my playlist uh, cranes are auto load now so if you just load click that it's gonna load that car it's gonna load that car until it's completely loaded And on top of that, see there it goes again. It's going to keep going until that car has six logs on it. But on top of that, guys, oh, I'm sorry. You're not even on that screen. But anyway, uh, here you go. See, it's auto loading. I just clicked it once. I'm back in the cab of the Shea and, uh, or Annabelle, and it's continuing to load. And it will continue to load until that car is fully loaded. Um, on, and then also... They have updated the railroads online extended. So you see this little gray dot. This little gray dot. You click on it. And then you click activate. And the other car is loading guys. So that. And it will load until it's full. So that you can activate the cranes. From Railroad Online Extended. So not only can you flip switches. Uh, you can activate cranes. It's it, it's it's a lifesaver for somebody who's playing single player. So. You know. Call it what you want. I like it. I, we, I use it playing single player. I, would, I wouldn't use it playing multiplayer. But I use it playing single player. Because it's just. It's a. You know. It just. It's, it's quality of life kind of stuff. You know guys. It, it helps you out a lot. Um, as soon as this other one gets loaded, we'll pull up and get those back two loaded. Then we'll back in here and get these other two cars. But uh, yeah, it's just quality of life stuff, guys. For somebody who's got a, who's playing single player, um, makes it nice, makes it convenient. Um, but yeah, it, it 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 helps out a lot. Now, I, I actually wish that. The, whoever the guy who does railroads online extended if he would look into being able to couple and uncouple cars i mean you can already apply brakes to cars you know i can if i go here if i click on this car right here right i can open the controls of this car and i can apply the brakes to this car if i want to um I can open the controls and show the freight. It's going to show me what's on that. Six of six logs. So it's going to show me what's on that car. So, I mean, it's just, you know, quality of life stuff like that, guys. It makes it, you know, makes it interesting for single players. Some, you know, that don't really have. Or that won't, you know makes it easier just i mean guys i i just i hate <laughs> i love this game but as many switches especially the way i build track <laughs> as many switches as there is in this game it is a pain in the patukas to get out at every switch to flip it um I, I was i was extremely happy when he put 
the automatic uh, spring switch is in here where if you're going in this direction and you come up on this switch it'll automatically switch for you if you're coming in it in reverse but still if you're coming in it from this way you have to flip that switch if you don't you're gonna you're gonna end up having to re-rail your cars um, it's just that's just the way it is and and so yeah so the railroads online extended makes it extremely more enjoyable for somebody who's playing a single player game but like I said multiplayer game I probably wouldn't use it uh, other than you know it does have some other qualities in it too you could actually uh, let me go over here and get these cranes activated keep an eye on them cranes guys they're fixing to start working over here in my extended I'm gonna get them going there they go um, something oh I'm gonna I'm gonna pick I gotta get that map out of there so let's uh, let's go over here I'll, I'll show you some guys some stuff while those cranes are loaded all right so I'm gonna go over here and I'm gonna go to settings and I'm gonna go to map and I'm gonna go to mini map and I'm gonna shut mini map off um, that way it won't show it won't show um, the map up there in the corner anymore see the map that just went away so the map's gone oh you can't see it so anyway but the map the map that was up there in the corner as a mini map of the railroads online extended it's gone but uh so we'll get back to railroads online extended and we'll go back to the map here and anytime you go off the map and come back to the map it always takes you back to spawn but if you click on this little bullseye button right here it says follow it'll take you to where you are on the map so you can see we're right here at the log camp and then just un but as long as you're on this you can't move the map and move you move when you move the map moves otherwise if you want to move the map around you have to unclick it and then you can move the map around by uh left clicking holding left click and then you know see the hand ball up when you do it and it'll move the you can move the map um, but what I what else I wanted to show you was where it was online extended is guys you can see what cars you have see I do have a porter another porter um, I'm not sure where it's at so and a good way to figure out where it's at is I'm gonna go over here and jump out of the cab because you have to be out of the cab out of the UI view of uh, where it was online extended so if I click on this little button right here it's going to take me to that porter so where is that porter that porter is at the sawmill okay so we'll see it here in a minute when we get there So we're going down to the sawmill as soon as we get loaded up and we'll see in a minute so but yeah see it put me and then I just click back into the shade and that's why I'm back in the shade now so um, let's uh, go back to our UI and let's get this thing pulled forward and we're still on 3% so she's gonna pull up slow going let's give her a little bit more juice so we can get her going back her back down five percent I'll let her pull ahead here guys and I'll tell you what guys in the interest of time I will see you as soon as I get these last two cars loaded and get ready to start heading down the mountain so see you in just a few all right guys we're back I've got these cars loaded up and we're gonna 
going to put your reverser in forward and brakes off and we're going to take off down the hill so yeah this like I said guys this is a pretty interesting map it's it's so far, I like it. Um, I haven't built any track, uh, even on the other save. I didn't build any track. I just got the, the shed and started delivering logs. I was trying to deliver enough logs to fill the log. It's not actually a pond. It's the log river because it's spread right beside the river. Um, so I was trying to get enough money to uh, to buy another engine uh, because you're gonna need um, I think say that, that switch just flipped I didn't know if you saw that guys it, that, that switch wasn't set right and because I came into it in a reverse angle it, it automatically switched um, that's another quality of life it's, it's great for uh, for, uh, single players but um, I was trying to get another engine because get enough money for another engine and the other save of this same map because I wanted to uh, I want to haul some cordwood to the smelter of course I got to build track to the smelter first but um, I don't want to have to haul cordwood all the way to the smelter with the shake. Uh, oh, all right. So we're going downhill. I'm gonna cut off that. And like I said, guys, because I played this, I know I'm gonna fly about 30 to 40 percent break down this hill. So you don't get, even at 40 percent break, guys. This this train gets going at a pretty good clip down through here. So, as you can see, this is the old, uh, this is the old cut you would go through if you were taking the back side back way into the uh, coal mine. Um, if I was going to go to the coal mine from, say, where the old ironworks or the old oil field used to be, across through that cut across the mountain through that little cut and then down the other side this is the way I would do it um, this is the way I would go out the back side of the coal of the iron mine of course you could go out the other side of the iron mine and go down and spiral around down to the to the uh, river and then take the river out um, or you could go out this way uh, and go down to as you can see as you'll see in a minute you can go down to the river and take the river and follow the river on out uh, this way as well um, I've tried that before and and I've kind of spiraled down I never took the route that this uh, that this guy built down to that river because that's where he has the, the uh, sawmill is down at the river um, you see it, it's right over there but that is the uh, that is the river it's right down there at the river and then you just follow the river on down um, but this is a pretty uh, I don't know what the grade is um, I would have to put it on another map to uh, actually see the grade but uh, it goes down pretty good. You see, I'm still at 40% or 38% break. And I'm still going. And this is a pretty flat section right here. So, I mean, it's slowing down a lot. But we're fixing to get right here um, and go down this. Uh, it's fixing to start downhill again. That's, that's a pretty intense. That might be 2 maybe even 3% right there. I'm not sure. But, uh, yeah, it's... Uh, we're going to go down the hill here, and uh, I think it flattens out here a little bit. Let me take a little bit of this break off. I'm going to go down to about 13%, so I pick up a little speed, and then I'll bump it back up, because it does uh, 
start down at a pretty good clip here in just a minute. So I'm guess I'm thinking you would take that other spur across through here and there's a little cut that's at about That's a six. I want to say that's 500 feet through that little cut area there, guys, that I've been looking at to uh, try to get to the shortcut to the iron mine or to the coal mine and the smelter. Um, it's right up. It should be up right up through there. So it's right up in through there somewhere, I think, right there. Uh, So you'd have to go off that spur and kind of go up a little bit. Um, I better put a little bit more brake on because we're getting going way too fast. Because it's definitely downhill from here. But it's not bad. It's not a bad route uh, down through here to the water. So I may on my other maps, um, on my coal mine runs, try this route down to the river and then follow the river all the way to the smelter. That would be uh, to where the old, well, or where the old smelter is on, on the other maps. but to the oil field now so yeah I mean which they may have to do that anyway because I have to bring oil from the oil field up here up here to the sawmill because the refinery is right over here the refinery is right over here guys um, And you'll see he's got a spur off there's a junction right here um, and there's a spur that goes off to the refineries uh, I think it's right over here yeah I think I see the smokestacks of it right there so yeah he's got uh, a, there it is a spur right here it goes off and it, it just goes off right here and stops but it's to continue on off you can continue that on off to the uh, to the refinery. So we're coming around here to the sawmill. I'm going to give us a little break, slow us down a little bit. And I'm going to let off the break. And I'm going to give us just a little bit of juice. break or off the break jump off here and I'll catch these as they go by and then we'll drop off some uh, some logs so that's the run from the logging camp which is right up there on that hill on that cliff down here to the sawmill and uh it's like that's an interesting map i kind of i kind of like it i think i'm going to enjoy playing it um so uh you guys let me know what you think put something in the comments let me know what you think about it and like i said i will definitely put a uh, link to the in the description to this guy's channel um, so uh, if you want to go uh, get this map you can go get it take a look at it
see if you enjoy playing it too. Uh, he's uh, not charging anything for it. Um, he does have two different ways you can get it. One is, I think, from Google Docs, and the other one is from uh, some, I can't remember the name of the other website. But the other website asked for an email, and I really didn't want to do the email. But I do encourage you, you know, if, if you feel inclined to uh, to uh, help him out, um, by all means, you know, help him out because it's it's it, it's an interesting map. I, I I believe he did a good job with it. Uh, <clears throat> it's I can't wait until. Uh, the actual railroads online staff finishes with uh, bug fixes and new engines and stuff so we can get maybe some new maps I would love to see some different maps uh, not just changes in industry location but an actual different map would be would be nice um, go up here and get the bike on before we get too far because this just the dead ends and goes kablunk so that's another thing um this uh this map with the industry changes the way they are is going to be a lot of uh let's we got to put some fuel in here i think we're almost out of fuel so But I think uh, with the industries the way they are in this map, um, it's going to be a lot of, uh, there's uh, not a lot of room, I don't think, for uh, for uh, runarounds or, you know, it's going to be shunting. You're going to have to pull into an industry and back in and deliver your stuff and then pull out. And, um, with this one, you actually have to, uh, you actually have to, back back up the hill there's uh <clears throat> i'm seriously thinking about uh making a little over here possibly on the other side so we got 20 logs in there right now um, 19 so it's eating them up so over here, I'm thinking about making that. There's a switch over there. I'm thinking about making a little, building a little piece of track where I can back up into there and then turn around and go back up there. But then I would have to turn back around up there to, at the mall camp. So I don't, I don't know. I'm just, you can just back up the hill, go up and down the hill, back and up the hill. Um, or you can... You know, back down the hill and push back up the hill. However, you guys want to do it. It's uh, it's, it's completely up to you. Um, I'm gonna put this in reverse and get this going back up the hill. Um, guys, I'll tell you, I start right there with a 75% regulator. Um, once you cross over the river and start back up that hill, it takes about 60 to 75% regulator to keep a steady constant speed going up that hill otherwise you will bog down and stop uh, it is it's got to be at least a three percent grade um, if not more although you know who knows the shea i think only has a, like five thousand pound tractor of effort, a little over 5,000 pound tractor of effort, so, you know, it may, it may only be a 2%, 2 or, two or 3 percent grade, um, just the shade doesn't really have a, a lot of power to push up a hill, especially six cars, even though they're empty, so, you can see here, that is, where it starts back up the hill and this here like I said that line there goes dead end but that dead end I think is made so you can go over here and hook up to the uh, 
oil refinery that's over here somewhere on the other side of these trees. This right here is the main line um, that goes all the way through and that starts down the hill back toward the, oh, see, bogging down, guys, bogging down. So that's the main line. It goes all the way through. And that's why I say I was thinking about making the, where you back into here and make a little loop around right here that I can turn around. But then again, I said I would have to turn back around when I got up there. So, make, you know, just back, just back up the hill. Back up the hill, come down, back up, you know. All that turning around is not necessarily, and they did in real life, I believe. Um, I heard Heiss and Khan talking about it on one of their uh, episodes once about how um, trains did sometimes back, you know, between industries, from one industry to another. They come forward and then they back back into the other, back back up to the other industry. Especially, I believe, in the coal mines, when they back up in, when they're in the mountains, when they're doing coal and stuff, making coal runs out of the mountains. Um, there always wasn't a place to turn an engine around. Um, a lot of places didn't have turntables and stuff like that. Uh, I do believe I heard Con say once that sometimes, though, they, they would get to a place where they would pick the engine up and turn it around manually, you know, jack it up and, and spin it around. Um, <clears throat> I may be mistaken, but I'm pretty sure I heard that out of his mouth one time. But, uh, well, guys, I'm going to get this back up the hill, and I'm going to load it up with some more logs, and I'm going to continue to run logs down here until I get enough, uh, I hate this thing down in my face, I don't know why. I hate to put that in there. But anyway... I'm going to back this thing back up the hill and uh, get some more logs and run some more logs down here until I get enough money to buy another engine. Because I'm wanting to get a uh, Cookie 280. So, uh, but I may get something a little smaller. Um, it depends on what it looks like going to the smelter. I may do some uh, surveying uh, to see what it's going to take to get to that smelter off camera too. So, uh, but if you guys want to see me build track to the smelter, you know, leave leave a note. You know, leave something in the comments. Let me know, guys. Track building is not the most exciting thing in the world, but hey, if that's what you guys want to see, I'm more than happy to do an episode of me building track to the smelter, the new smelter. So, uh, yeah, um, leave a comment, guys, and hey, don't forget, like, subscribe, share, it really helps out the channel. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm growing a little bit, little bit at a time, guys, but I still need that help and that boost, so I need, I need subscribers and I need watch hours, guys, so... Just uh, help out if you can, <clears throat> and definitely hit that like button because that gets my videos seen by other people. <clears throat> and uh, I'll keep running these uh, logs so I can get enough money to get another engine. And the next episode, we will buy that other engine and take a little tour from the spawn up all the way up here to the uh, to the sawmill. Um, so, guys, thanks for watching. And uh, be safe, be nice to each other, and we'll catch you on the next one.